Well, hello everyone, Bill in here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on Fire Lord from 2011. Okay, so on the front of the box here, have Lego logo, Hero Factory logo, the symbol to it, and also Fire Lord in a fierce pose with some explosions going on behind him. But of course, refueling station, of course, and have the name Fire Lord down below. And age recommendation is 9 through 16, set number 2235, has 125 pieces. Talk for which actual size of the head, of course, is that. Yeah. And then on the back, see the him against Stormer and Evo 2.0 in the same exact background of course and then shooting off the meteor launcher and herofactory.com and onto the instruction manual same pictures on the front of the box and everything but although it doesn't have any like glossiness to it for whatever reason and on the back the front page which is fire lord again fighting off stormer and evo And then on the back, how to win on the online survey, evil win kid. And then, then how to win on the, or I mean, after Lego club. Add a hero recon team, awesome thing it was. And also, all the hero sets, of course. And then hero.com, or herofactory.com, of course. Then the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the last building steps. All right, and so on to Fire Lord himself, by which uh, quite cool he is. Uh, hang on, let me pan up a scooch. Okay. So now, as you see, so turn the ground up like I always do is you got. The like feet built similar, and quite neat. So the little thing with him is he does have a whole ton of Glatorian neck pieces, of course. So he kind of a parts pack for that. And also you get the five long armor pieces used as toes. Well, same with like uh, Rocket XL and Black Phantom in the next two waves, of course. And also. This does have some of the, some of the large length six armor pieces which were exclusive to him at least until in other sets in the future of which and also you do get these quite cool ones of which ten have printed armor or has printed with that looks like lava crackling or something great for some fire character box and also since he is the Titan set of the wave, but also, although not at all any pistons in the back part of which, so at least the back legs of which do have some extra stability to them. Like, of course, kind of copy that of like Von Nebula and Tuma, of course. But like with the Hordika heads in there. And at least does well help with that. And unlike with the other sets where if you had all have off all the armor, then it just becomes kind of a stick figure, but with his case of which not so much of that. And up a ways and if I take this armor piece off. And he which at the time was the only one to use this like extra long torso piece, which kind of similar to the other torso pieces, but Instead, has does have a couple extra holes in it. Oh, which, as you can see, like three holes in. There's probably like five holes there. And of course, does have the Baraki Takadox headpiece in there, just to hold some extra bits to it. And of course, same add-on piece as the other villain sets also did, and also the same chest piece as all the sets did. 
and also three long armor pieces for the shoulders, of course. Which, not sure if that was in other sets, but whatever. And then as for the arms of which, which don't go, which are hard to maneuver around, like can't go all the way back or anything, since it has these extra bits added onto them. But whereas Black Phantom and Breakout fixed that with some additional pieces, but yeah. And but the rest of the arm of which still made of some of those of the same pieces of which. And also with the extra long armor piece in gunmetal gray. Very nice. And also the new hand pieces of which in silver, which stay exclusive to him until a uh, bulk 3.0 in the Sa Summer Savage Planet wave, of course. But whereas on this hand of which does have the same meteor launcher as the other sets also did. But I'll get that later. And as for the other arm of which, which has a little more going to have the like Mystica shield piece, of course, there. And also Burno 1.0's weapon. Kinda odd how it was chosen for that. Of how both a good guy and bad guy with the same weapon, of course. Not sure why, but whatever. Although I think a, a new, different kind of one would have been better. And as for on the back of which, not so much exposure. But also, just like Jetbug had, is the like uh, jetpack pieces, but instead of having two limb pieces to connect to them, instead it's just one. And as for the head of which, it has a double jointed neck, like Jack Bug also did. Unlike what Drill Dozer had just one of these pieces, or two of these pieces, instead it's just one. It has a pair of horns here, which are comprised of like these, of the new blade pieces, for, but in red, which cool for mocking, but at least they did come in other colors. Or also came in silver and gold in other sets down the line. But also, this Hummel Witch, very nice design to it. But if flip over, is that also drill dozers kind, but all in gunmetal gray. So, kind of similar to that of the pilots from the uh, Glatorian Legends vehicle sets, of course. But if you keep on, but of course, this view of it is all you'd ever want from it. But back view of which, not so much, even though probably the drill dozer with extra bits added to him. But, yeah. but as for his size of which, as compared to both Jetbug and Furno here. as he, he really stands above both of them. Well, quite fitting to him as the main villain, of course. And of course, also taller than Von Nebula. Uh, of course. But of course, Witch Doctor also really towered over him. Yeah. And now, on to the final verdict. This, I think, a, a quite cool set for 2011. CMP, which is kind of the main villain of this wave, and also does have plenty of good mocking pieces to it, like his armor pieces and the horns and everything. And also, and despite the arms not being so poseable, he's still worthy of a set. And too bad the arms can't move much of which, but you can modify it in in different ways that you want, and also want choice of how uh, Furno's weapon is also used for him, but at least uh, Jaw Blade and Breakout also kind of did that as well. 
and also good size for the price at which since of course he's still a bit of a sign of the times where you got something kind of large for twenty dollars well at least until in later times or nowadays something kind of small for twenty dollars as well but yeah and so now if you still have this set from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of him and if you still have access to this set I'd say definitely pick it up, eBay BrickLink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.